Hey guys, Vizello here. So I'm sorry that I have to put this at the beginning of some of my videos now, but basically because YouTube hasn't been giving out any new notifications of my videos, if you have been subscribed to my channel and you see the bell icon next to the sub subscribed icon, I highly recommend that you make sure or you just click that to make sure that you're getting notifications because it's extremely annoying when you have so many people not watching your videos. So I just want to make sure that everything is going well for that. But without further ado, I guess let's get into the main topic, which is will Xbox 2 or whatever Microsoft is going to call the next Xbox and PlayStation 5 be revealed in 2019? So it's no secret that the PlayStation 5, which is probably what's going to be called, and the next Xbox is going to be coming soon because the Xbox One and the PS4 have been on sale for almost six years now. And when you look at how just like different consoles come out and how like how long it usually takes, we're around that point where it's time for a refresh. And honestly, just talking from my perspective, I find these to be sort of exciting because you don't really know what they're going to be. And just imagining like what could happen and like what memories could happen by getting this box that plays games. It's, it doesn't sound that eventful, but when you really think about it, it is kind of exciting. But today I wanted to pose a question that asks, when will we see them? Or at least when will they be revealed to us for the first time? And actually there is some information going on and some rumors that do suggest that we could see it in 2019. And that's what I'm going to be getting into. So... If you have your own opinions on this, make sure to leave it in the comments, but let's get into this. Okay, so I'm going to start with Sony. So, Sony has confirmed, they confirmed back in November of 2018, that they're not attending E3 2019. And that's because they really don't have anything to show. Like, the PS4 has no more really big games coming out that Sony wants to show in a massive event. However, they are supposedly going to hold another event in 2019 that's like their own event. So like, imagine it as like PlayStation convention, like something that is just for PlayStation. And like I said, the PlayStation 4 does not have much else to show. And the Vita is like completely done. And it like, it, it died like around this month. So the PlayStation Vita is off. That's completely off the counter and so is playstation 4 so maybe it is possible that we could see something new of course most likely it would be the playstation 5 or whatever it's gonna be called just because sony said they're not gonna make another vita so the entire playstation portable thing i'm just gonna say is probably not incredibly likely it's most likely just gonna be the next playstation home console and on top of that, Sony's probably going to be going off on games. They're probably going to reveal a lot of first parties because Microsoft has said that they are going to step up their game next generation. So Sony is definitely going to have to be a little bit on guard because Microsoft could come out of the gate swinging and completely throw up their expectations. Now do keep in mind that it is possible that Sony could just reveal the PS5 this year and announce it to actually like launch next year. But it is actually most likely just looking at how things sort of work that we might actually maybe, maybe see it this year. Like, see it actually physically release in 2019. Maybe only. Now, personally, I never really was entirely that interested in the PlayStation brand. I mean, I have been in the past and I've enjoyed a lot of their games. It's just that I've never really had that one console that Sony made that has like those games that are just like the I think I would actually like to play and I would actually enjoy playing just on my own time. And the thing is that if PlayStation 5 does have all that, who knows, I might actually pre-order it because I've never owned a PlayStation console before. So this might be my first PlayStation that I've owned. But in short, yes, I am looking forward to Sony's event because I'm hoping that they're going to impress me. But anyway, let's talk about the other side and that's Microsoft. So if we know that it's likely that Sony could be aiming to release their next console this year, then it's most likely that Microsoft caught wind of that too. And they are attending E3 2019, at least as far as we know right now in February 2019. E3 is like four months away, so they probably would have already said if they were going to be attending or not. 
So I'm pretty sure that they are going to be attending. Now they're in a quite a different state than PlayStation because they did show a lot of new games at E3 2018. And those were basically all confirmed for be for Xbox One. Now it is possible though that these could be like cross-generation games maybe if you know what that means. So for example say like a game is coming out on the 360 and then it's only for the 360. But then, at the last minute, Microsoft announces that it's also going to be available on the Xbox One. So, it's available on the 360 and the One. And that would be the same for the Xbox One, the Xbox Two, or whatever it's going to be called. I'm just going to use Two as a placeholder because, for all I know, they could really just call it, like, Xbox Station. I am looking forward to E3 2019 because last year's for Microsoft was pretty good. So, hopefully, they will show us some more stuff that will impress us again and i am hoping that they are going to show something that is related to the next xbox not just like what they did last year where they said we are working on it no i mean like pro hopefully just like maybe a little two minute teaser video like they did with the xbox one s and then they're just like oh look it's a new console and it's made by steel series and microsoft collaboration with every amd and like whatever they're gonna do and like <laughs> Maybe that maybe that's what's gonna happen. I'm hoping that they are going to show us something this year, but maybe they won't. Maybe it is possible entirely that we won't see any of these consoles until 2020. Now I have owned a 360 and I do own an Xbox One, so I own two Microsoft consoles right now and I do enjoy them. They are what I would probably consider to be my main systems. I do own a Switch and I play that every once in a while, but just because I have, I'm usually playing with more friends on my Xbox One. But in general, I would say that if Microsoft were to release another console, I would probably be very interested in it because I have been a supporter of them for a while. But as far as we know, Microsoft and Sony could not do anything this year. Microsoft could maybe at the last minute not go to E3 and it could just be Nintendo. And that would be very strange, but it could happen and we could not see any consoles this year. I doubt that's going to happen, but it could happen. So I am going to be making a follow-up video to this soon, and that's going to be talking about what this was going to look like, like what con the consoles are going to be like, and the controllers, and games and stuff. So if you are new, then feel free to jump on board. You can subscribe, but it's totally optional. Now, if you are subscribed, like I said at the beginning, I would really appreciate it if you were to turn on notifications so you did get notified of that video, because what's the point of subscribing if you're not getting notified? But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure to leave your thoughts on this in the comments. And as always, see you.